Good, Good morning, Chargers. Chargers. This is Sophia. And Nikita. Welcome back to another day of WRSN. In today's show, we will be honoring September's Chargers of the Month, and we will be giving you a special after show from Homecoming. Let's get right into it. Before we get into today's show, we want to give a special congratulation to September's Chargers of the Month. Our first Charger is the new choir director, Hannah Harris. She goes above and beyond to help out while providing an excellent music education to her students. Congratulations, Ms. Harris. Next September's Student IB Trait of the Month is Caring. One student that demonstrates that trait is James Dunin, who takes the time out of his day to ask his teachers how they are. Another student is Lauren Mahan, an optimistic student who is committed to her studies and leadership outside of the classroom. Congratulations to all of these Chargers. Last week during Homecoming Week, we had our parade, which is a success. Now let's head over to Alex and Max to see the recap of the Homecoming Parade. Last Friday, Suncoast students attended the Homecoming Parade and showed strong spirit from around the community. As well, the HOKO 22 court made an appearance on the convertibles, pepping up the crowd and throwing candy. It was really fun, you know, I got a lot of candy, or a few candy, and it was fun seeing the, the floats. I really liked the parade. The floats were really creative and they all really showed the class themes really well. I loved seeing all the floats and I loved watching the band perform. There were four different themed floats. Freshmen represented the clear sky, sophomores brought the heat, juniors showed us the world, and seniors led the tidal wave. Including multiple different bands, performers, and lots of music, the parade was an exciting experience to witness. Additionally, the Hoko Parade was a great pump up for the following pep rally. Reporting for WRSN, this has been Alex and Max. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Alex and Max. Another way to raise school spirit is through going to tonight's Spirit Night, but not at one, but two locations to better serve our Suncoast community. Be sure to stop by Burger Fi in Palm Beach Gardens or Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza in Wellington between 11 a.m. and 9 p.m. to dine in or take out and share with friends and family. Don't forget to mention Suncoast High School when ordering. Each location will donate 20% of purchases back to our school. Now let's get into today's clubs. The film club will be meeting today during lunch in room 3, 319. They will continue filming today, so be sure to fill out the session form and equipment permission slip if you want to participate. Be sure to join their Google Classroom with their code on the screen for updates and more information. Music is an important part of the film process. Speaking of which, the Tri-M Music Honor Society will be meeting in room 3135 during lunch today. They'll be discussing the officer elections and tutoring. Be sure to join their Google Classroom with their code on screen for <laughs> updates and more information. Speaking of music, Hands Across Campus and Latin Dance will be meeting today in room 3200 during lunch. You will have the chance to learn Latin dances for Hispanic Heritage Month. Hope to see you there. Other clubs happening today include Students for Hibiscus. They'll be meeting in Mr. Brown's room 3100. They'll be making Halloween goodie bags for the Hibiscus Children's Center. You'll earn one hour for bringing a bag of candy and earn one hour for making a goodie bag. Be sure to join their Google Classroom with the code on screen for updates and more information. Another club working for a good cause is Boundless Biotech. They will be meeting in Mr. LeBron's room, 3318, for their first meeting today. Join for a chance to be a part of a program that aims to teach biotechnology to students from low-income backgrounds. You can earn CAS and VCS hours, run for officer positions, and most importantly, help your community. Be sure to join their Google Classroom with the code on screen for updates and more information. The Association of Blacks and Latinos Entering STEM Club will be meeting today in Ms. Russell's room, 
3, 328 during lunch. Join them for a fun variety of topics regarding scholarships and fundraising. Be sure to join their Google Classroom with the code on screen for updates and more information. Finally, play tabletop games such as Dungeons and & Dragons and Warhammer by joining the Tabletop RPG Club today during lunch in Mr. Loomley's room 3115. Anyone of any skill level is free to join. New and veteran players are welcome. Anyone interested in learning is encouraged to join. Stop by and see if any picks your interest. Now let's toss it over to Sam for sports. What's up, Chargers? It's Sam bringing your sports news for the day. Yesterday, the boys' bowling team won 4-2, and the girls unfortunately lost. The JV and varsity volleyball teams both won their games 2-0 and 3-0. Lastly, the boys' golf team unfortunately lost their match. Today, be sure to go out and support the swim team at 4 p.m. to celebrate their senior night against Palm Beach Gardens. The JV and varsity cross-country teams will be in Palm Beach County Championships at 4.30 and 5.25. Lastly, the varsity volleyball team will have their senior night tonight at 7 p.m. against Palm Beach Central. Both the freshman and JV volleyball teams will also play tonight against Palm Beach Central at 5 and 6 p.m. Good luck, guys. Now, let's turn over to Rachel for a recap on the girls' JV volleyball team against Boca Christian. Our girls' JV volleyball team had a tough game Tuesday night against Boca Christian. The game showcased the girls' talents and continued improvements on the court. Honestly, we did a lot better than we thought, and I'm really proud of us because we did really great today. Here's a behind-the-scenes perspective of the work done to create an event such as this one. It takes a little bit of planning. We order officials, order police officers, security. Um, you know, we bring Harold, our athletic trainer, into the mix. And then on game day, it's pretty simple. Volleyball coaches are on point and do a phenomenal job. The team has had great progress this season with their chemistry and communication. Our Chargers had a close game, but were ultimately defeated. I didn't really expect the outcome because we did go to the third set, and we were really pushing it in the second set, so I thought we were going to win, but we didn't. We wish you luck, Chargers, on your next upcoming game. This has been Rachel Fernandez reporting for WR. Thanks, Rachel. That's all for sports today. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Sam. Now let's wish our Chargers a very happy birthday. Before we end today's show, we want to remind you to check our accompanying slides for more information about today's announcements and extra details that we couldn't fit into the show. That's all for today, Chargers. This has been Sophia and Nikita with WRSN. Make sure to check out the after show where Manit takes us around campus asking students about their thoughts on homecoming. Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning in. in. Who am I here with today? Well, Archie. Archie, do you have a date to homecoming? Unfortunately, no. Do you want a date to homecoming? Sure. Yo, Katie, come here. Well, we got you a girl. Let's see the Riz. Um, Hoko? Sure. Do you have a map? Because I just got lost in your eyes. I don't have a map, sorry. You have no Riz! <laughs> we got you a date to homecoming. Let's see the Riz. All right. Huh. Do you know CPR? Because you just took my breath away. OK. Hello, Mash, my best friend. Do you have a date to homecoming? No, I do not. How would you feel about going with me? Sir. Really? Thank you. Can I get a hug? Please. Thank you. Yes! Ah, oh, yes! Yes! Yay! Oh. Are you going to homecoming? No. Why? Too much money, man. Don't you got a girl? Yeah, I do. Do you care about your girl? I got better plans, bro. <laughs> How tall is too short in a guy? Uh, like 5'5". Five, five. How tall do you think I am? 5'7"? It's pretty accurate. I was not allowed to air the rest of that interview, so enjoy the rest of the show. Enjoy. Do you care about your friend? Not at all. How do you feel about that? I'm cool with it. It's, re it's reciprocal, you know? We, we feel the same. 
Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Okay. So it's homecoming week. Who's your celebrity crush? Celebrity crush. Uh, back when I was in high school, Kelly Kapowski. Okay, okay. Who's your celebrity crush? Um, Dixie D'Amelio. All right, I got this kind of like, it's kind of Drake sounding song. It's more vibey song. You know, I don't make chill music that much, but that song, that's the one for real, for real. Like, it's more universal, so when I drop that, y'all got to tap in for real, fam. Tap, two way out, dude, all socials. Get right, get right. Y'all heard it here, fam. Two way, Joe, y'all.